Because attached to it is going to be a helium balloon. That wrist is going to feel light and buoyant, and it's going to begin to rise. I want you to take that wrist now and just allow that wrist to rise. Allow that wrist to rise higher and higher and higher. The more I talk to you, the higher that wrist rises. That wrist rises higher and higher and higher. Allow that wrist to rise higher and higher and higher as that balloon goes higher into the air. That wrist is going higher and higher and higher. Totally relaxing. Just allow that wrist to just relax and take you up higher and higher and higher. In a moment, I'm going to come along and I'm going to touch you on the wrist. Instead, do allow that wrist to fall heavy, loose, and lazy into you. As this wave of relaxation washes over you and through you, taking you deeper and deeper down. Relax. 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 Continue with your deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. You guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, I want you to continue breathing as I talk to the audience right now. You guys are doing a really good job. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, these guys are not asleep. They can hear every noise that's going on around them. Now is the time when I need you guys to come to life. You've been an absolutely fabulous audience for me. I want to thank you very much for your attentiveness and your quietness. Ladies and gentlemen on stage, these guys are going to give you a big round of applause. This will not disturb or distract you, only serve to deepen or relax you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the stars of Australia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen on stage, even though you are relaxed, you can still hear my voice. No matter how deeply into hypnosis you go, I will always be able to awaken you by counting you up from one to five. When you awaken, you'll feel refreshed, relaxed, and absolutely fantastic. When directed to stand, your eyes will open wide. Your legs will be steady and strong beneath you, keeping you in perfect balance. You'll be fully aware of the dimensions of the stage and always, always listening to the sound of my voice. Every suggestion that I give to you this evening becomes your 100% true reality and you will act upon it immediately. Every suggestion that I give you from this moment on becomes your 100% true reality and you will act upon it immediately. Anytime I say the word sleep, deep sleep or relax, you will assume this position of relaxation that you have created for yourself. Anytime I say the word sleep, deep sleep or relax, you will assume this position that you have created for yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to find this next thing to be true. I'd like you to sit up straight in your seat, eyes remaining closed, eyes remaining closed. You guys are all here tonight as musicians. You guys have your favorite instrument in front of you that you're going to begin tuning up in a few minutes. Gentlemen, I'd like you to uh, straighten your imaginary ties. 
this. Ladies, straighten your imaginary <laughs> skirts. You've got your favorite instrument in front of you. I want you to pick that instrument up, whatever it may be. Maybe it's a guitar, maybe it's a piano, maybe you play the drums, so you've got a set of drumsticks in your hand. Doesn't matter, I want you to tune that instrument up. Get it sounding just right. We got the performance of a lifetime. You've only got one chance now. I don't want you to blow it, so get it, get it sounding good. I know, this is serious stuff here, serious stuff. All right, I think you guys are ready. I'm liking what I'm hearing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Give a big round of applause. Beautiful 
remote location, I want you guys to stow away those, stow those trays in front of you. Stow away those trays. Get them out of the way. <laughs> Make sure your seatbelts are on. Let's get those seatbelts on so they're nice and tight. A little bit of turbulence. A little bit of turbulence happening there. Okay, now, now pop open the shade of the window beside you. Pop open the shade. Sit. Oh my God, you know what? It is warm. Holy frig, it's warm. You're, you're, you're like, yeah, it's, it's really warm. It's like 30 degrees, 35 degrees. It is really, really warm. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay, you know what? They turned the air conditioning on. It's getting colder now. It's getting colder. It, it is like, it is like, I'm not kidding. It is getting really, really cold all of a sudden. Really, really cold. It is, you know what? Do it. More turbulence, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Um, turbulence, I think you guys better take your shoes off. Take your shoes off because the, the turbulence is just getting so bad. I want you to pick your left shoe up. Pick your left shoe up. Boy, some of us have boots on. Pick your left shoe up and put it up to your eye. You know what? It becomes a telescope. It becomes a telescope. Pick your other shoe up. You right shoe up. You now got a set of binoculars. Look out the window. There is a new volleyball beach going on down below. You know, a new volleyball game. Check it out. Check it out. There's some cool shit going on down there. Nice, nice, nice. All right, more turbulence. More turbulence. Put your shoes down. Put your shoes down. She's bringing you guys some soup. I want you to make the loudest, slurpiest soup noises you can make. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. Oh, more turbulence, more turbulence, guys. Oh, okay, she's clearing away the soup. She's bringing you spaghetti now. Suck up that spaghetti, but don't get any on your shirt. You don't want to make a mess. You got a big business meeting. You got to go to a big business meeting. <laughs> All right, more turbulence, more turbulence. Oh, oh, crap. And you know what? Now she's bringing you ice cream. Lick that ice cream. Holy oh, crap. It's getting warm. That ice cream is really starting to melt. Lick it up. Lick it up. It's like melting on your arm. Lick your arm. Lick your arm up. It is really starting to melt. Oh, my gosh. And you know what, guys? Freeze. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Pop over your eyes. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Take a deep breath in. Fill up those lungs. Exhale and just allow your eyes to close down. Allow your eyes to close down. Absolutely relax. What a mess I got in front of me here. Oh my God. The person I am touching now. You have a very important job. You are the laughter police. You hate laughter. You absolutely can't stand laughter. Anytime you hear laughter, you gotta get control of it. You gotta go over to whoever is making the laughter. You're not gonna touch anybody, but you are gonna say things to them. But you know what? All of your swear words have been removed from you. All of your swear words have been removed from you. But they have been replaced with Huffy Puffy, Mamby Candy, and Pop-Tart. When you hear people laughing, you're going to pop open your eyes. You're going to get out of your chair. You're going to go to them and you're going to start yelling at them using these words. Huffy Puffy. Mandy Pandy and Pop Tart. <laughs> All right. Pop open your eyes.
think these guys know you mean business now. I think they know you mean business. your name, you're not going to have a clue what your name is. You came in here with a name today, but you have no idea what it is. The person I am touching now, when I shake your hand, you're going to swear that the person sitting next to you has pinched your ass. You're not sure who it is. You're not going to touch anybody or strike out anybody because you don't know who did it. But you are going to swear every time I shake your hand at the person sitting next to you, has pinched your ass. The person I'm touching now, when I shake your hand and ask you a question, you're going to respond to me in your best singing voice. Your best singing voice. All right, let's do it on stage. Pop open your eyes. This is the best time of the show right now. This is when I get to actually meet these guys up on stage. I know, I know some of them, but I don't know them all. Hi there, I'm Kendall Summers. You are? Mitch. Mitch. Not just Mitch, you're a constable, Mitch. No one's laughing, thank God. <laughs> they, they're pushing your buttons. I need backup, too many. Are you kidding me? 
Mr. Smith said he could take a picture without me seeing you the sleepiest of sleep. <laughs> you're going to be absolutely in love with me. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I am at 30. Your love for me is going to be absolutely obvious. But you will not try to kiss me, pick me up, dip me down. I have learned. But when I turn my back to you, my backside is going to be the most hideous backside that you have ever seen. You're going to be absolutely repulsed by my backside. My front, absolutely beautiful, totally in love with it. My backside, you're going to be absolutely repulsed by it. Only the person I am touching now. The person I am touching now, you are going to be, um, any question that I ask you, you're going to respond to me once again in your best singing voice because you have an absolutely fabulous a singing voice. My friend over here, you have a very, very important job tonight. I'm going to be giving you a horn. And when I ask you to open your eyes, you're going you're gonna to pick this horn up. You have a very important job. You are a human Viagra detector. You absolutely love your job. You are going to go out into the audience. You're going to look at these men deep into their eyes. And you are going to let us all know who's on Viagra. My human Viagra detector. You absolutely love your job. Only those three people. I need you to pop open your eyes, sitting up straight in your seat. Only those three people. There's your horn, darling, but don't move until I tell you. Wow. All right. I, uh, the audience, uh, I need. Good things about me? Of course. Okay, good, good, good. 
don't tell everybody everything about us, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big okay, just, just a sec, just a sec, just a sec. Enjoy this. I know, I know, I know. What did he say? He said, the 
sometimes he's not that great at it. <laughs> this is from a female today here in the audience. Her question says, my boyfriend never wants to romance me or to be intimate. He just wants to get down to business and go straight for the dessert. What do you recommend I do? To tell the Japanese. He basically said that all guys know how to do. <laughs> Oh, right there you go. There you go. And you can go back to your position. 
position again. All right. All right. Okay. I, you know what? I think I need to get these guys moving. They like to move. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a dance competition. Ooh. We've got some really good dancers here. Let's have a disco dance. Two and three. Disco dance off. 